In today's video, we're gonna be showing you some in the field brazing with our new little compact torch. And right behind me, we've got our lines that we're gonna braze. So we're gonna show you the whole procedure from putting on our heat uh, putty to the nitrogen flow to the process of brazing. So let's get into it. All right, so here's my setup. As you probably remember in a previous video, look how lightweight and nimble these hoses are. Uh, we fold them up and put them into here super easily. Really nice torch set. And here is our indoor coil. I actually forgot my um, swaging tool and my crimp tool came in, in handy. I was able to crimp the liquid line in here, but the rest we are going to be brazing. So we just have some fittings here and we're gonna be using the wet rag heat block putty for this. So we're gonna remove our TXV bulb and then we're gonna show you how to apply this. This is reusable. As you can see, it has some burnt chunks in there, but that's not a problem, totally reusable. All right, so out here at our condensing unit, we're gonna show you what we've got here. All of our lines are fitted, uh, we're ready to go. And what we've done is we've removed the Schrader valve on the suction side. That's where we're going to put our one hose True Blue vacuum kit. And we're gonna pump this down in less than 10 minutes with our Navac 4 CFM battery powered vacuum pump. But before we do that, obviously we have to braze. So we left the Schrader valve in the liquid side. We just have one hose hooked up to that. The yellow hose is going to our nitrogen. And we have this little regulator that uh, you can pick up on Amazon that regulates how much nitrogen goes through the lines as we're brazing. What this is gonna do is it's gonna prevent um, any oxidization or soot from building up on the inside of the lines. And this is going to improve the life expectancy of this unit. So this is on already, we got plenty of pressure. We're going to open this. So we're set to braze, we can hear that flow going. So we're gonna go inside and we're going to start our brazing. So we've got our heat block here. We're just gonna take a good blob of this and we're gonna form it into like a, a circle here. It's a little bit messy sometimes, but it works really well in uh, keeping that, that heat contained. We're gonna push it up as far away from our fitting as possible. And I'm out of breath. Ran back to my truck, ran back. Okay, so we're good to go there. We're gonna make sure not to get any heat over here where our bulb is. So we're ready to braze. We have our nitrogen flow going. So let's start up our torch and we'll kind of show you the technique here. You'll notice I'll start heating both sides and as I'm feeding the rod in, I'm gonna be heating the middle. So capillary action will pull that Silphos into the middle of this joint. This is what we're using. It's Stay Silv 15, 15% silver in our rod. There you have it folks. So we've got both of these fittings uh, brazed in. Did a physical inspection with our mirror and everything looks good. So we're gonna proceed to the outside unit. We'll take our putty off and everything once this has fully um, cooled off and then we'll get our bulb mounted. All right, so out here at the unit, we're just forming this wet rag. And we're just gonna Stick it right there to it, form a little barrier, 
we're not gonna worry about this guy. We're actually gonna, we're gonna leave this cracked so that our nitrogen has somewhere to escape, but it's not completely open. Even though that stuff is messy, it is water soluble, so you can get a wet rag, ironically enough, and clean it up. But it works really well. There's a lot of tests on it, so. Let's go ahead and get our little compact torch lit and get this brazed up. A little tip so you don't get all that soot is open your oxygen line just a little bit while you open the acetylene and you won't end up with that soot. All right, so we've done a visual inspection. We've made sure that all of our uh, braze joints are perfectly solid um, from a visual point, but we're going to pressure test with nitrogen. So we're gonna make sure both of these are closed. We're gonna open our nitrogen. As you can see, we've got plenty of PSI in our tank. We just have the blue side hooked up to the suction port because we have no Schrader valve there and we can allow this nitrogen to flow in nicely. Now one tip here is don't go ahead and put 400 PSI in there. Go ahead and put about 50, let it sit. And if you have a major leak that you need to resolve, that will not waste a ton of nitrogen. Don't ask me how I know. So we're at 50, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna crank it up to about 400 and we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. And if we haven't moved, a smidge then we should be good to pull our vacuum i'm super stoked because we're going to be using our brand new navac battery powered um, vacuum pump it's got some fresh oil in it fresh battery we're going to be using the true blue kit massive hose and it's supposed to allow me to do this in about less than 10 minutes all right so we've actually gained just a little bit so that's definitely a great sign we don't have any leaks. We've been sitting for about probably 15 to 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and release all of the pressure here. So we're just gonna crack one of these lines, let all the pressure out. Well, I know they're not the cleanest joints, but they sealed really nicely. And let me show you the inside unit. After we insulated it, it looks really nice. Well, folk, that's a wrap. Our TXV bulb is right here and it's at 10 o'clock. It needs to be in 10 o'clock or two o'clock, I believe. Insulated with uh, foam tape and then we've got our white insulation wrapped there. So we've got our two um, press fittings. This will actually be a great test to see how long these last. Um, that really saved me from having to make another trip back home. Um, but yeah, this install is completely done. And all we have to do is pull our vacuum and let the refrigerant in and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Now, if you're interested in seeing the proper procedure on vacuuming a system in less than 10 minutes, getting it down to 100 microns, Make sure and check out this next video and we're going to walk you through that process with our Navac 4 CFM vacuum pump that's battery operated. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.